Thank you everyone for listening in today. Today I'm joined by Dr. Tony Schwery at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and he's going to give us an update and an explanation of what happened at ESMO regarding the Checkmate 9 ER trial. Tony, could you break this down for us for the patient community, please? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Brian. And um, I think, um, you know, we did give uh, in the presidential session uh, the result from Checkmate 90 r after the press release in April um, that showed that the combination of a drug, uh, cabozentinib, and another drug, nivolumab, cabozentinib is an oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor that target uh, vasculature and the angiogenesis, and nivolumab or Obdivo is a, a PD-1 inhibitor, an immunotherapy and immune checkpoint inhibitor. Their combination was tested against a sunitinib, uh, which is in um, at that time was a standard uh, treatment given for a patient uh, with metastatic kidney cancer previously untreated. What we found, uh, in a way, was that uh, the response rate was doubled from 27 to 56 percent. The progression-free survival, which is what was the primary endpoint of the trial, which is that how much time, if you want, the patient stay on treatment without the growth, without progression or growth or, or death. And that was doubled from 8.3 to 16.6 months. But the big question is, I would say the two big questions left, do patients in general live longer? And actually that combination cut the risk of death by 40%. And they do live better because we do have a quality of life questionnaire that we're administered to patients at several interval. And there is a difference between the control arm sunitinib and the experimental arm, the cabozentinib and the nivolumab that favor uh, the combination. Um, these are a important result. The combination was also overall the side effects were somewhat manageable. The rate of stopping completely and discontinuing treatment due to the um, to toxicity was low in both uh, arms. Um, and overall, uh, you know, I think this combination may play an important role in patients with what we call with advanced metastatic kidney cancer that are previously uh, untreated. So this is another exciting time for kidney cancer patients. I do believe that that helps uh, also other planned trial, where one of them is a triplet that add another immunotherapy drug by another by the name ipilimumab. So I think uh, the field has made significant strides with the combination the next couple of years. This won't be the first combination and we're gonna continue onward in our fight against kidney cancer. There's no other options. Great, great, Tony, thanks. One quick question to follow up on is quality of life you mentioned. Can you talk about that in terms of the toxicity profiles and, and how that played out? So you have to think about it like the toxicity and the grading is what the doctor and the practitioner and the provider do or the nurses do uh, when they look at how the patient is and they, they grade the fatigue, they grade the diarrhea, they grade the lab, there's a manual to follow. The quality of life fall under what we call patient rather than physician, patient reported outcome, where the patient are given questionnaire, you know, where, you know, a, a piece of paper or online or a tablet, and they report how they're feeling during, you know, their visits, you know, that have pain, fatigue, um, uh, you know, are they able to work? And there's a scale usually, usually between zero and four point, and everything, you know, adds. And in this study, we use two, the, two scales. One is called FKSI 19, which is kidney cancer specific that has 19 questions. The other one is called FKSI DRS, the disease related sim symptoms, which is six out of the 19 questions. And in both, there was a statistical significance with time when you follow the patient, you know, patient, let's say on the, on sunitinib versus carbonivo, the group fills the questionnaire, the other group fills the other questionnaire, and you follow and you collect the information. There's a statistical difference between both for the quality of life 
favoring the combination. That's, you know, I think the best way I think about it. Great. Well, Tony, thank you. I appreciate your time today. We have, you know, the patient community is excited to hear about this news and I wanted to, Kidney Can wanted to share it with as many people as we can just to let them know there's going to be another, I guess, arrow in our quiver going forward in the near future, hopefully. So thanks. This is how I think about it. Every bit helps. Every successful story helps till one day we achieve the cure. So, you know, you and I maybe can retire and just do something else. All right. Uh, sounds good. I like putting ourselves out of business. Okay. Absolutely. Take care. Take, Take care. care, Brian. We'll stay in touch. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.